Hey, Modern Thirst now has collector's coins available for purchase. To celebrate the end of 2019 and our sixth anniversary in January of 2020, we printed 100 specially designed coins. They're individually numbered and they make perfect Glencairn glass covers. If you're interested in purchasing, they're $10 each, including shipping. So to order them, you can go to modernthirst.com shop. And remember, there's, we only printed 100, so there's not a ton of these out there. We're also relaunching our Patreon site. If you join the coin club there, you'll automatically get new versions of our coins as they're released two to three times per year. And if you join the t-shirt club, you'll get the coins plus a Modern Thirst t-shirt twice per year. So check it out. Hey, this is Bill Straw with Modern Thirst. Thanks for joining us again. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the fourth release from Four Gate Whiskey Company. It's called Split Stave by Kelvin. If you haven't been following this blog or haven't been, been following online, I founded Four Gate Whiskey Company about a year and a half ago with a, a good friend of mine, Bob D'Antoni, and together we run Four Gate Whiskey. Uh, what we do is go out and, and find the very best whiskey that we can find on the market, and we blend that to a certain flavor profile, and then we collaborate with Kelvin Cooperage to find the best way to barrel finish that. Now thus far we've released um, the Kelvin Collaboration, which is our first release, came out in around May of this year, April or May. Uh, it was uh, an 11-year-old Kentucky bourbon, and it was blended, uh, blended together uh, from a series of barrels and finished in sherry rum barrels, originally sherry barrels that were later used for rum. Uh, the second batch we called Outer Loop Orbit. Now, this is a 5.5-year-old and 12-year-old blend, and this was whiskey that was finished in orange curacao gin casks, so originally orange curacao. A liqueur and then gin after that so very different flavor profiles from fleet from very sweet to very kind of tangy and, and botanical uh, our third release was called foundation this was kind of a micro batch um, it was not finished at all when we tasted this whiskey um, it's it's nine years nine months old when we tasted it it was just so good that we couldn't think of what we would do that would make it better so we released it as is now our fourth release is kind of special to us now this is one where we went to Kelvin Cooperage um, and we said, we'd like to do something where you get to show off your skills as a cooper. Before we had used, uh, used barrels in these two for the finishing process, and uh, we didn't finish this one at all. So uh, while they got to, to show us how they could source barrels and repair used barrels and get them ready for use again, in this case, we wanted them to create some brand new barrels, some kind that have never been used before. Uh, what that was is what we call the split stave. Kelvin Cooperage created um, a bunch of barrels for us that were medium toast, so a very light toast. Toasting brings out kind of a, a creme brulee and a caramel flavor, um, a little bit of marshmallow, a lot of sweetness. Um, and then they made some barrels that were number two char and some barrels that were number four char. And before we use those barrels again, we broke them all apart. And when they put them back together, they alternated the staves. So some of the barrels are toasted and number two char, toasted number two char, this nice zebra look to the inside of the barrels. And some are toasted in number four. And we did that just so that we could experiment with different char levels between the different barrels. Uh, but this whiskey is a, another blend of five and a half year and 12 year. Uh, it's a little, little bit skewed towards a five and a half year because whenever you're double barreling in a new barrel, uh, you get a lot of oak and, and a lot of flavor very quickly and an older whiskey could get over oak very quickly. Uh, but in this case, uh, we absolutely love the way this turned out. This is our Christmas batch. We hope to repeat this process in the future with different whiskeys. And um, this came out at 115.6 proof, so it's, it's uh, one of our lower uh, proof releases so far, but that is barrel proof, it's not chill filtered, um, and th there's no water added. Uh, we did 2,700 bottles of these, and the retail price we suggest at about $175. So let's give this one a taste. Modern Thirst Challenge Coin. Mm, right away, you really, really get that marshmallow and creme brulee kind of a vanilla custard note, and that's from the toasted staves. And below that, there's a lot of oak on this. Again, this is kind of a combination between a toasted finish and, and a double oaked. So there's a lot of oak on the back end, like a, a cocoa powder, a Nestle Quick, an unsweetened baking chocolate powder. It's very nice. And then, of course, the oak on the back end. And that carries right through to the palate. You get a lot of that custard, creamy, vanilla, creme brulee right on the front of the palate. The rear palate, and in the mid palate, you get the cinnamon baking spices, and that's from the underlying whiskey. That's, that's what we had before we finished them. But on the rear palate, that oak and smoke and kind of dark cocoa and coffee kind of swings back around on the rear palate and on the finish. It's very tasty. 
really like this. I think you'll really like it too. If you're a fan of any type of toasted or double oak finish, I think this is right up your alley. Um, again, this was released in Kentucky and Tennessee. It's our largest batch today to 2,700 bottles. Um, also, you'll be able to find some of these on sealbox.com in the near future, so keep an eye out on that as well. And we really hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please share with us on, on uh, social media. Uh, if you get a bottle, if you like it, what you think about it, or send us an email at bill at fourgatewhiskey.com. We'd love to hear your feedback. Um, thanks a lot. We hope you get a chance to try it. Cheers, and have a great new year.